everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I am here in California at Google I.O. 2017. And this morning they had their initial keynote, and one main thing that they announced is called Google Lens, something new, and I'm pretty excited about it. Now, basically what it's gonna do is you can point your camera at an object or show a photo, and it's going to recognize what that object is. So if you see a pair of shoes you like, you can point at it, it lets you know what the shoes are, or if you see a tree that you wanna know what type of tree it is, they'll have that as well. Now I know there have been similar products out there in the past similar to this, but I think Google has the correct platform for this in terms of having Android and also Google Photos as well. So I think they'll be able to integrate, tie that in well. And also the Google Lens logo looks somewhat similar to that of the Instagram logo. And so today we are announcing a new initiative called Google Lens. Google Lens is a set of vision-based computing capabilities that can understand what you're looking at and help you take action based on that information. We'll ship it first in Google Assistant and Photos and it'll come to other products. So how does it work? So for example, if you run into something and you want to know what it is, say a flower, you can invoke Google Lens from your assistant, point your phone at it, and we can tell you what flower it is. It's great for someone like me with allergies. Or if you've ever been at a friend's place and you've crawled under a desk just to get the username and password from a Wi-Fi router, you can point your phone at it. And we can automatically do the hard work for you. Or if you're walking in a street downtown and you see a set of restaurants across you, you can point your phone because we know where you are and we have our knowledge graph and we know what you're looking at we can give you the right information in a meaningful way. As you can see, we are beginning to understand images and videos. Now I think a very big deal for this to be a success will be the success rate of recognizing objects. If I go up to a pair of shoes that I like, I want it to tell me what they are, or I want to see what a type of tree is, I want it to tell me what it is. And if it continuously doesn't give me the correct result, I'm just gonna stop using it altogether. So I think initially that is going to be a big key. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how they plan on integrating it with Google Photos. Which is the way we're taking photos is changing. Instead of the occasional photo with friends and family, we now take 30 identical photos of a sunset. We're also taking different types of photos, not just photos to capture a personal memory, but as a way to get things done. Whiteboards we want to remember, receipts we need to file, books we'd like to read. And that's where Google Lens and its vision-based computing capabilities comes in. It can understand what's in an image and help you get things done. Scott showed how Google Lens in the Assistant can identify what you're looking at and help you on the fly. But what about after you've taken the photo? There are lots of photos you want to keep and then look back on later to learn more and take action. And for that, we're bringing Google Lens right into Google Photos. Let me show you. So let's say you took a trip to Chicago. There's some beautiful architecture there. And during your boat tour down the Chicago River, you took lots of photos. But it's hard to remember which building is which later on. Now by activating Lens, you can identify some of the cool buildings in your photos, like the second tallest skyscraper in the US. Willis Tower. You can even pull up directions and get the hours for the viewing deck. And later, while visiting the Art Institute, you might take photos of a few paintings you really love. In one tap, you can learn more about the painting and the artist. And the screenshot that your friend sent you of that bike rental place? Just activate Lens, you can tap the phone number and make the call right from the phone. Lens will be rolling out in Google Photos later this year and will be continually improving the experience so it recognizes even more objects and lets you do even more with them. But anyways, that's really about it in terms of Google Lens. Lots more covers to come, so click that subscribe button. Curious to hear what you think. If you think Google Lens is actually going to be a success or a bust, so drop a comment, let me know. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching.